What's going on guys? Kurt here. Is a 3D printer useful on a homestead? Could you actually use it? Just got my 3D printer. I'm totally new to it, but I've been printing off. I've used up a kilogram spool. So let's get right into the video and I'll show you what I've been doing with the printer so far. water wheel printing out here. I'm still figuring out the Tinkercad program, but it's it's printing out. It looks doesn't look so bad. So I want to show you some of the most useful things that you can 3D print on a homestead. So let's get right into it. So I think this is really useful, probably number one on a homestead, would be garden hose fittings. And this one was found on Thingiverse. Thingiverse is a website where you can find the models that people make and design, and then you can then download them and you can print them with your 3D printer. There's a few other steps you got to do, but, but it's pretty simple, actually. Um, this is probably one of the most useful things for the homestead garden hose. You have your female and male fitting, and you can just put these push a hose right over that and put a hose clamp on. There's actually clamps that are 3D printed with this as well. So you just have to use two screws, but I, I just use the hose clamps. Next one, barb straight fittings, repair your hoses and just put two clamps. So you can change the sizes in your software, your slicer software for the 3D printer and you can make them bigger if you want. Here's another uh, barbed straight fitting and it's pretty durable. So for irrigation, it's perfectly fine. It's quarter inch, little barbed straight and that could be for watering plants or whatever. So this one's really cool, rain barrel adapter. This is something that if you've, if you've ever worked in a hardware store, people come in looking for these like crazy. It's really well made too. You just drill a hole in your rain barrel and you would then push that through, tighten it against the barrel. So the next one, pipe clamps. This one will work for PEX and it should work for copper as well. I have another one here, different designs that I've found and they work really well. I've actually used them to hold water filters and pipes on. Next one, washers, and this is very easy to make. You can make your own washers. So I'm new to 3D printing, but I made this one. This is my first washer I made. Very, very simple. If you go onto the Tinkercad program online and you can just take a circle and then cut out a circle and you've got yourself a washer. Nuts and bolts, I think these are very useful as well. This one threads really nice but I found these on Thingiverse. This is a Flex 18650 battery holder, and you can just pop in your 18650, and you just wrap a piece of copper wire around each end, run the wire out, there's a AA Flex holder. So another fitting, this is a blowout fitting, RV blowout fitting. Just thread it onto the garden hose end, or into your RV, and then connect an airline to that and it'll blow out the system. But another useful thing around the homestead is a battery bank. And this one here I found on Thingiverse as well. And you just pop the, the cover off and then slide it open. This part here holds your 18650. This is the flat top in there. So you have your charge protection board and boost module. We'll talk about that in another video. Another power banks, very cool. One of the most useful things I have made for the homestead on the 3D printer is this flashlight here. And it's a hat clip flashlight. Also, you could clip it onto your coat or jacket or whatever, coveralls. And this flashlight here has a clip on it. So the cool thing about this flashlight, not only is it a flashlight, it is a power bank as well. This is one of the best things I've built so far. I use it every day. got some weight to it. Set for 230. Change that right now before I forget. Get that. That's one thing done. The regular Ender 3 doesn't have this. 
It's supposed to have the power supply, upgrade power supply. There's our display. These are the extrusions, I believe. Everything looks good. And this one's supposed to have the magnetic. Ah, oh, it does, yeah. Magnetic bed because it's the pro. Under sales card. I'm new to 3D printing, but I wanted to show this because I'm going to be using it in upcoming projects. So let's get into the printer itself. It's the Ender 3 Pro. I purchased online and delivered within 10 days. So before you buy the printer, I recommend watching a couple videos. I think I watched at least 10 videos and I already started downloading the STL files and I started preparing. I ordered the filament in advance. So the filament actually came before the printer. So I had the filament and I was all ready to go and then the printer came and it was a good experience. So the wheels are not too tight, but they're not too loose. So that's an important thing. You can watch that in the video. Also, I've added two upgrades to the printer. The extension on here that extends the filament out and I've also put this little wheel system here little wheel and it straightens the filament and makes the filament go straight into extruder here so it's not on that crazy bend coming from the spool down so I think that's a priority that was the 3d printed useful projects on a homestead peace out